I was on video I tried to do back with another decorator. Today we have the bicycle cinema from collectible playing cards. Um, it right says bicycle cinema playing cards on top. You see an old school theater with an old school film strip camera, and you see the video screen that's now playing bicycle cinema playing cards. <laughs> uh, it says the United States Playing Card Company on one side. Eric and Finis on the other, nothing on top that I can tell. And the barn is a barcode made by USCC and it's designed by Alan Jason Vidal. He's done a few decks with collectible cards. The back, you see basically the back design. And then you get, which is a film strip as you can see. And the seal is a custom one that says cinema on a film strip. I think it's got a cinema theme, don't you think? <laughs> um, the top bicycle on the flap is bicycle branding and this little element on these flaps and it's just a standard USB-C tuck case. You get the collectible cards ad card. Oh for freaking sakes. Oh. Loopers. <laughs> the whole deck just flew off the table. I don't even know how that happened. It must be really slippery. <laughs> um, there is. There it is. You get the collectible cards ad card, as I was saying, just like any collectible cards decks. And on the back, you get numero uno. <laughs> um, and then you get a double backer type card. It's got a three on one side, a one on the other. And the whole reason for that. It's because the backs, they're all, they're all different. It's basically a marked deck, although it's really hard to kind of figure out which one is which, I would say. I'm not going to try to memorize this marking system. <laughs> it's not a marking system. You'd have to memorize each different one to figure out which is which. You could use it to your advantage to allocate the four aces or something, but they're all different. Each one is different. And the reason for that is because when you flip through it, you get an animation. Just like the old school films where it counts down, you know, three, two, one, and the movie starts playing. Now, I pre-recorded that animation when I opened the pack. So, have a look at that right now. And so, this is the animation of the bicycle cinema deck. Hopefully, you can see it. It's like a film strip, as you can see. So, it's a marked deck. There you go. So it's like a film strip. It's pretty cool. So that is that. We'll see you next time with more. We are back. So that's the animation. Unfortunately, I did it backwards. I went one, two, three. Whoops. But that's the general idea. That's what it is. So it's a very interesting deck. Going on with it, you get some custom jokers. They're eating popcorn. It's pretty weird looking. <laughs> It says Joker in the corners. That's a film strip right through the backs and the faces. The other Joker is the same, just a slightly different color. And you get the aces. Fairly straightforward. Just a pip in the center with some circles around it. Pretty cool. Um, the indexes, they're custom. It's a custom font for the lettering and the numbering which is kind of within the film strip edge and same with the pip it's kind of hidden in there makes it a little bit harder to distinguish i think but not that much it's still usable the court cards vintage style USB C court card fairly straightforward but it's been done to make it look like it's going through the film strip a little bit different aside from this one than the standard USB C Bicycle court cards. It's a vintage style one as you can see and then you move on to the number cards and they are fairly straightforward so That's that it's a very interesting deck. It's an obvious one-way back design uh, Essentially a marked back design if you want to use that to your advantage um, Borderless full bleed uh, on top of it being a one way because of the backs, the edges are obviously not centered perfectly, which is fine in this case because it is a one way. 
and it actually kind of fits with the film strip, I think. But um, and it's a typical USB-C printing issue. Um, I thought that was a hair. <laughs> Silly me. Anyway, um, bicycle stock, Ilka Synthesis handles good. It's a very interesting deck. I like it. Uh, I mean, I don't love it, but I like it. I think it's pretty unique. Very unique. Definitely recommend checking it out. If you're a collector, you're going to want to have it. And you can get it at collectiblepointcards.com. Of course, use the code VZA32. Save 10% on the order. Comment and subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.